Hello everybody, my name is Aceface. Today we're going to be running the 6 out of 10 I got last time from that Garista's Rally Point and I can't wait to do this because if I complete this and I manage to get a Pythium A-type multi-spectrum shield hardener, I'll go crazy. That thing is way it's worth 800 mil. It's so nice just for that one module. So we'll see, see if we're lucky. And the thing actually I'm having a bit of worrying about it now is if I'll actually be able to run the site because I just realized, you know, I wasn't having tank issues with the Rally Points. It was like going to like 40%, 50% shields. But it was still, you know, it's not like we were having almost like 90% yeah, shield HP. And I can imagine in 6 out of 10 it's going to be a lot harder. Because I was seeing people, they run these in Tengus, which are really like OP, got much more tank than this. And uh, I'm just worrying that maybe we won't have enough tank. But to be honest, I've gone so far out anyway. I want to just try this, see if we can get through. If we don't, well, then tough luck. We're going to have to warp out and maybe try to find some local modules to refit if we even do survive. But... I've got this thing called Eve Gate Camp Check, you can see here. And you can use this to check if people have been recent to kill. It uses Z-Kill things. And we can see that the route is clear. There's nothing going on in this route here too. The 6 out of 10 from where we were farming the rally point before. So let's go there. Hopefully we don't get sniped off the bat. But I worry more about getting wrecked in the 6 out of 10 actually. Because I really, I don't have high hopes for this ship. I was looking in Piffa and I actually have a 140 DPS tank against Garistas. And that's not a whole lot. That's not a whole lot. You know, you can have you can have a lot more uh, more tank. I've been seeing people, they are running uh, these Tengus. And they had like a 700 DPS tank for the against Garistas. And I watched this guide online and he was saying that... You know, 700 DPS tank is overkill, but still, I think 140 is... I don't think that will be a lot. If someone's using 700, then I don't think 140 is going to be a lot. But we can maybe be a bit tactical, you know. We can be warp out and warp back in. And I think maybe it'll, it'll take quite a long time to do the site as well. So... Maybe we'll have to split this up into two parts. I don't, I'm not 100% sure. Let's see how it goes. I've actually got the the like the gu like a kind of Eve Uni or kind of guide thing here that just tells me what ships spawn here. So I just have a bit of an idea of what is what is spawning here. So you can see here, Garista's Rally Point Combat Anomaly. Let's go to the next system. Nothing here. It seems to be quite quiet in this area of Losec actually. It's like a nice little pocket for farming these rally points so at least at this time of the day maybe it's, it could be the time of the day as well maybe this is when most people are either sleeping in the u.s time zone we're at 1400 all people could be at work i came home a bit early from university so that's why i'm here right now otherwise usually i'd be here and a lot later than this let's go to the next let's go to the next uh, gate and we'll come back when i've actually got there or if someone actually start grabs me or tackles me on the way there so i'll see you guys in a bit we have now entered Nullsec, actually. So I noticed that a lot of these Garista's Havens, you don't usually, I don't think you see these in the, oh, that's such a cool background. I think this is called Cloud Ring. That you don't usually see, I don't think you can see Garista's Havens in Nullsec. So that's something I noticed straight away. That, oh, oh we're, in, we're in Nullsec now. It's so quiet here. I'm not noticing anything, actually. No one to be seen. That's really nice. You can see a Garista Sanctum. This is the most challenging anomaly you can actually find. You know how you can see anomalies here? Like Garista's Haven, Garista's Rally Point, Garista's Den, Garista's Refuge. The absolute toughest one you can find here is actually Garista's Sanctum. That's the toughest one. I think below that is the Haven. And then below that somewhere comes the Rally Point. Then you've got Den. you got Refuge. But a Sanctum, that's something you don't see every day in Losek. Well, I, you don't, I don't think you at all see it in Losek. You see it only here in Losek. People are so scared of Nullsec, it seems like, or at least this part is really... I've not come across a single guy so far in Nullsec when I've been here. That's really cool. You know, we saw some people in Nullsec, but in Nullsec, just pew, everyone's gone. <laughs> it's funny. Thing is, it is very dangerous, you know, if people have got bubbles and that kind of stuff, it's going to be very hard to avoid. At least you don't have bubbles in, Null in Nullsec, so you can kind of avoid it. It's so easier to avoid. You just burn back to the where you can. Uh, if you've got like a fast warping ship, you could you know warp off. But with them with a bubble, that's not going to happen unless you're in a special interceptor, you know. Okay, one jump out. Let's go in and do the six out of ten. Oh, let's see that last jump. Or what if there's like a big gate camp here? Just corrects me straight away. That'll be funny. It seems here the first room is going to be very easy. You got battle cruisers, then you got a bunch of battleships here. So it seems like there's a lot of battle cruisers compared to everything else. So we just go and nuke all the battle cruisers. We got some people here. But it's not on the grid, so that's good. Let's go to our escalation. Let's go exploration, escalation, and warp to location. Yeah. Okay, let's just see. Keep an eye on 
descan for combat scanner probes because that's the only way people can get to us they can't you know go to us with core scanner probes because it's not like the normal DED sites that require core scanner kind of probe if it's an L escalation the only way to get to it is if they have a like, combat scanner probe they scan down my drick but hopefully people are not going to be really bothered with that i can imagine people will not like really be bought that bothered to like combat scan people people just look a bit and descan and then just say oh that guy is in descan let's go to him but if we you know we're chilling here then i don't think it'll be the case okay so first sight let's just go and kill this battle you can see here on the guide first there's an overseer battle cruiser that can have some kind of card i think i need to go to the next gate you see here this has got gurista spa card so you can go to the next gate i think with this I'm not sure if I have to kill every single one. So, you know, lock until all defenders are dead. So let's just go for the battle cruiser first. You know, reduce DPS. But obviously, obviously, it's always natural to just go for the biggest stuff. Was we want to take as much DPS off the grid as possible. Uh, we're perfect range as well. Let's just go with one MWD cycle in here, locking up stuff as well, and then we go for this battle cruiser straight away. All right, that kill them straight away. Yeah, should go very smoothly. He's just getting wrecked there, that guy. Can actually go with a bit of a uh, drones on the small stuff. Split up our weapons a bit. Go for these guys. And I just worry about the drones taking a bit of damage. We've obviously got unbonus drones right here, so it's not like we're going to have the best applying drones. Okay, use this last heavy assault missile there. We've got the drones just annihilating him because these light drones are really good tracking. They're going to just go and destroy it completely. Oh, this is going to be epic. Okay, let's see now that. Where is that? I think this is the Overseer Cruiser Wreck. Let's go for this. Okay. Yep, let's go for this. Oh, we got the skilling spirit. Oh, that's nice. Um, keep shooting. We don't want to stop shooting. Always have to shoot. Always have to shoot. I just worry about drone aggro because I only got one set of drones, so when they die, they're dead forever. But they're obviously useful to have, especially when it comes to small stuff. So I've got Gurus' Spark card right there. Let's take this and kill this guy. Go to the acceleration gate i've heard actually that five out of tens are actually harder than the six out of tens so this maybe is good news for us i've seen i've seen people like discussing oh what do i need to can i please go i didn't say to go there go there please and uh, activate the resource gate. yeah okay good, good is this guy here no he's not that guy has to use combat scanner probes anyway to get me okay but the i've looked on the forums and i was seeing oh i you have guys who are like five out of ten six out of ten and people saying oh the six out of tens are so easy compared to five out of ten because the five out of tens you need actually a pretty good tank you can see here this is where i worry we may die because there's a lot of battle cruisers here but i think that they've like grouped up so if you go for one group at a time they won't kill you so let's go for this group over here if we just go a little bit of an mwd pulse and go for these battle cruisers over here the battleships i mean Okay, this pith dismantler. I don't think the rest of the group is going to aggro us. So we just stay here, stay here, you know, around this group. We don't go too close to the other guys. I think we should be good. Stuff going on. There's probably that reaper is probably like someone's scout or something. Okay, let's just stay here. Turn off the MWD, actually. No need to go so fast. You know, no reason. Mm -hmm. This battleship is dying very quickly. And go and lock up all these other, all these other little fry gates. Take them out like we just do the full clear we do the full clear of the wave then we'll go to the next wave so you can see there's a few waves like there's three other waves the groups there. there's one group there one group there one group there oh, should be pretty easy let's go and take our drones actually they can start hammering these start going for these you know frigates while we're actually destroying the battle cruisers that's actually a good idea can maybe even web him a bit web this guy that's not really any point because the drones do so much damage anyway All right, go for this guy yeah, really easy well, this was easier than I thought. I thought, you know, maybe we're going to die straight away. But it seems like, you know, it's very chill. you got to just go for one group at a time. And it's pretty pretty easy that way. Pretty easy that way. Oh, this is, this is a bit tense. You know, I hope someone doesn't come in with combat scanner probably That's going to be very scary. Like, especially if someone goes in cloaked. That'll be even scarier. Okay, let's see. He's almost dead. This battleship over here. Let's go ahead this way. We'll go for the edge first. Because I want to, like, go for the edge edge part. Okay, go for there. There's a, another frigate over there. Yeah, he died very quickly. Let's still use our MWD to go for that. This last Kestrel over here. Oh, not 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 go for that, but like to get in range. Okay, it seems like we're taking a bit of aggro from these guys. So Intoxicated Commander. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That guy actually can drop the Dread Garistas modules, the Intoxicated Commander. So let's go for this guy. Let's go here. And I think we'll turn off the MWD here. 
start shooting him. Start shooting him. <laughs> I'm so surprised we came this far. I thought maybe we would have died a long time ago. Okay, this guy is dying very quickly. We'll actually pick up the loot and see what he gets. Maybe good stuff, you know, maybe good stuff. Have the drones actually go for the small stuff. There's more, more smaller stuff that's more relevant. Okay, the drones are taking a bit of damage. Re recall them. Do not want to take drone damage. Yeah, the, the squad over there is actually uh, going for some of my drones. Let's see what this guy has. Keep going for this guy. Drones on this, drones on this guy. Let's just go for all the small stuff. Actually, I think maybe some of the battle cruisers are going to start shooting us, so we will actually have to switch them. Otherwise, the DPS will get very hot. So let's just go. Yeah, well, look, you can see here. Go for this and go for this battle cruiser over here. Keep moving. Keep moving all the time to reduce as much damage as possible. And then we should be good. Oh, that guy is almost dead, actually. Let's go for, after this battle cru uh, cru cruiser. I'll go for this battleship over here. Take out all the battle cruisers. They died very quickly. You can see it. He's almost dead now. Let's go for this one as well. Oh, my drone is almost dead. No, 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 no. Recall. Recall. Ah, we lost the drone. It's all right. Just one drone. But it's a bit, it's a bit scary, you know, with you only got one drone now. We've not got any more left. Okay, let's deploy them again and go for these destroyers. We're now a bit too far away from this battleship. Oh, no, I don't want to overheat that. Uh oh. I hope this doesn't go bad. <laughs> Looks like this is not going so good right now. Uh, let's overheat. Okay. Taking like full aggro now. Uh, there's nothing we can warp to. I think we're gonna have to warp out a little bit and wait for our shields to recharge. Yep. It's out of location as well. Because we're gonna have to. Yeah, warp out. Warp out, warp out, warp out, warp out. Warp out, come on. Warp out, please. Oh, yes. Okay, good, good, good. So, we, we, you know, we took a lot of armor damage. That's a bad, bad call from me. I should have probably warped out earlier. But now we know that. And next time, it'll hopefully go a bit better because there are now less pirates on the grid. So, we'll probably be able to take them out. Now, we're just going to wait until these uh, shields have recharged. It's going to take a bit of time, actually. Hmm, is there no way we can quickly recharge our shields? Hmm. Let's warp to some asteroid belts. Let's warp around a bit. Actually, you know what we can do? We can warp to the escalation there. We'll just warp to the escalation. It should be quite safe that way. Because they'll have to combat scanner, scanner that down. to be able to... Actually, we can actually make a safe on the way to the escalation as well. Probably be better that way. Safe like this. And then you just put it down and we just warp to this. It's a bit annoying with the passive shields because it takes a long time for them to to recharge. I wonder if there are any, uh, the, any sh um, stations in the adjacent systems. Because then we can go there, you know. If we go back to high sec, if we go here and we just go to Jita. What, how, where would we take? What, what direction? We would go through here. So we could actually just go through here and just look for some stations because they could have, you know, so th this system could have a uh, some structures or some stations maybe uh, i don't think so i don't think we'll be able to i don't think we'll be able to get no we won't be able to dock because you can see that you saw that there was like a, a citadel but we, we don't have docking permission so that's a bit unfortunate so i think i'm just gonna have to wait until the the shields recharge so we'll get back to that when that happens let's just go through the gate you know wait on the gate to the next one in the meantime i'll be a bit safer than just staying out here and also save us a bit of time. All right, so I'm on 50% shields now. I think I'll just go right back in. Let's nuke all the battle cruisers to reduce the DPS as much as possible, and then I think we should be good from there. Because the battleships take, but I think battleships are more tanky than the much damage they do. I mean, battleships do a lot of damage, but I think the battle cruisers, for the amount of HP they have, it's more efficient to just go for the battle cruisers to reduce the incoming DPS. So you've got a ton of battle cruisers here, only a few battleships, so they'll, they'll go down very quickly. I wonder how the aggro is going to be now. Actually, we can try splitting off to one side here. Please go. Like, why did it not go? I asked it to go and then it just decides not to go. Okay, let's start shooting. Shooting missiles away, missiles away. Let's keep going up here. Turn off the MWD because the Garistas use a lot of missiles. So using the missiles will, you know, or using uh, MWD will make our signature radius really big and it will make the missiles apply really well. Just go and, you know, get the drones to do a bit more work. Can actually have them take out a few destroyers on the way. Let's go here, let's go here. <laughs> We're just wrecking these battle cruisers so hard. I have to get a bit close actually. We're not still not close enough to these battle cruisers. Oh destroyers as well. 
I think we're going to have to warp out again. Basically, this is what it's going to be. We're just going to have to warp in, warp out, warp in, warp out. But, oh, Sister's Combat Scanner Probes. Ooh. Someone's trying to scan me down. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Someone, maybe it's, you know, people actually, I've heard that people actually do a lot, do this a lot, just to mess with people. So they don't actually try fighting them. So we're going to, we're going we're gonna to wait until people, we just come up here. Yeah, now those Combat Scanner Probes are gone. Nice warp off now. Get the drones and warp off. Warp off. Yep. Because uh, uh, my shields are down, so we're gonna wait a bit here in the safe till someone comes in. And you can see here they're, they're probably like it could be that they're trying to you know scam me down, or it could be that they're just trying to you know troll with me. I'm gonna check on Ezekiel real quick if they're actually you are know, hunters or not. Yan Chasto, I'm guessing he's the guy who's probably trying to hunt me down. So looking at this guy Ezekiel, I don't think he is someone trying to find me. You can try the other guy. Mm, this guy is a lot more active in terms of killing, but. Still not much going on. Well, I'm gonna have to wait and, you know, wait until the shield's up. Bit annoying, bit annoying. Taking a lot of damage off. Drake is on flames right now. We destroyed a lot of battle cruisers, thankfully. Let's see in the logs. Where did the most of the damage come from? The enforcers and ex executive. Oh, there's a buzzard here. Let's swap off. Oh, they've combat scanned me down. These guys, what are they doing here? A rifter and a. Buzzard. Hmm. Let's see if they try shooting me. Boopity boop boop. I'm gone. So it seems like there's a buzzard and a reaper trying to find me. So it's a bit hard. A bit, a bit hard right here. Trying to, you know, you want to be, you want to be in a little bit safe, right? And then you just got these people on your tail. <laughs> what are they trying to do? They're trying to kill me. So we got a rifter. They're probably going to warp here as well. It's a bit stupid that I warped at. Warped at zero. Uh, we're going to have to start warping off straight away. Let's walk to the DED site. He's going He's going quite hot. He's going quite hot right there. You can see that. We're being hunted. We are being hunted by a rifter. I did not. The thing is, I did not see any combat scanner probes. So they had to have done it very fast. I'm a bit surprised right there. We've got a rifter. I wonder how the rifter will be because I won't be applying so much DPS. But maybe, you know, maybe I will be able to kill him. The thing is, what I feel like they're going to do is here. They're trying to get me to attack one of these guys. Then they're going to hold me in place with the frigates. And probably a bigger ship like a Tech 3 cruiser is going to come and just rip my face really hard. So it seems like people are trying to get into the DED site as well. So I honestly, I feel like it's maybe going to turn out into just us fighting off these guys. Unless we somehow grab the loot really quickly and get out of here. I think these guys are going to try to get us. A bit unfortunate. I mean, I would have wanted to complete the site, but it doesn't seem like we're going to be able to complete the site because these guys just, these guys are just too crazy, you know. They're they they're trying to they're trying to get me. Not really much I can do about it. Let's do a bit of a reload right here. Wait, have we run out of ammo? <gasps> oh no, we've run out of ammo. We've run out of ammo. No. <laughs> oh my god, I thought I had a lot of ammo, but they they seem like they want to fight me. So it seems like we're not going to be able to complete the site. So let's go and try to fight these guys. Let's try to fight these guys. There's no way I can complete the site with this little ammo. I have to go all the way back and we it's just too far. It's too far. It's going to take too long. Probably I'll die in the way. Let's see if we can get some dank frags right now. I've only got the EM, so it's not going to be that good. But it could be good to hit in some resist hole. You know, you never know. Okay, we've got still some volley left. So we could use this to take them out. Because it's always better to go with the kinetic with the drake, you know. Uh, okay, come on, come on. Let's go, let's fight. Little buzzard, let's go. I've got some heavy assault, squid rage, heavy assault missiles with your name on it. Rifter as well. Rifter really likes to, really wants to get to me. Let's see if he gets to me. Because if they try to get close, whoo -hoo, I got a big surprise for them. They've got a web and scram with their name on it. Let's try to act a bit like, you know, helpless, you know. Maybe the good thing is they probably think that I'm PvE fit, right? They don't expect suspect a scram and web. So maybe, you know, they'll come here. And then they'll try, you know, scrambling me and try orbiting me at 500. That's when they won't know that I've got a scram and web. So they're going to probably get wrecked really hard. Let's see about that. Come on. Why are you not coming? Why are you waiting? The Rifter. Rifty Rifter. Hmm. Interesting skins right here. These if skins look very good. It's very unfortunate. I'm sorry that I had to, like, you know, end the PvE run. I could go back and grab a new ship, but honestly, it feels like, feels like people are going to be 
people are too eager to fight me and I can't really I have I've not got a whole lot of time to be honest today so uh, I'll this six out of ten unfortunately will probably not be going to me it just seems like it's not going to go to me but it's still a fun experience you know getting a bit of experience with six out of ten understanding it and we're gonna fight to the death with these guys here, I've got a reaper. Okay, come on, come on, come on, fight. We need, to, we need to have a fight right now. Come on, man. Yeah, fight. You know what, let's turn this off. Actually, no, 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 we'll keep on. Because I was thinking, the cycle on these adaptive involves or multi-spectrums are very slow. So if I had it off, I could instantly do the overheated one, but maybe we won't want to go for overheated cycle straight away. Or maybe we will. Let's do that, okay, let's do that. Thing is, I don't want to overheat too early, because then maybe we will. Okay, they got the combat scanner probes out. Let's go again. Mm -hmm. Let's keep moving as well. Let's keep moving. They're gonna probably jump whoop to me very soon. Any second now. Got the rifter. Wonder how this is gonna turn out. I'm really battered up, so I've at least I've but I've got recharged a lot of my shields. We've got not got much armor, but the armor buffer really doesn't matter. The main thing is the shield. Come on, Rifter! Let's do this. Let's do this. Got some Scourge Rage with your name on it. <laughs> You think you could take the Drake? You're gonna get a big surprise when the scram and web hits you. Hopefully it's not like he's not gonna just completely wreck me. He's got like maybe like he's so fast that my squid rage don't. I mean I probably won't have so good application but I think I will have decent application to be able to kill him. Let's see now. When is he jumping in? Come on. Why are you not jumping in? I want to fight. I want to play. I want to play. Please don't kill me. Let's be Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. I gotta act a bit like, you know, uh, you know, like a helpless kind of style. <laughs> I just wanna complete this site. <laughs> uh oh, he's here. Uh oh, he's here. Because I wanna do a bit psychological warfare, you know. We're gonna make it so that they think that we're really weak. Oh, he's gonna try to orbit me. Oh, he's scrambling now. Okay, now it's on. Okay, he's trying to brawl me as well. Let's see about this. Okay, let's see now. Boopity boop boop. You're scrammed. <laughs> Look at this guy. Look at this guy. What does he think he's going to do? Let's take out our drones as well. Okay, let's see now. What have we got on the scan? Anything on the scan? Scourge Rage. Activate our invul. It's important right there. He's going to die. Hopefully his shield tanked. So he's going to he's going to die to this. What? Drekavac. Oh, yeah, of course. These scrubs. They just come in with like really overpowered stuff. Look, they've got like a bit of a buffer tank. So they're kind of baiting me a bit. Let's go for the Drekavac. Because this is just, this is, dude, this guy's just a bait. This guy's just a bait. Nothing we can do about this guy. Okay, let's go, let's go. These guys are absolutely going to destroy me, but maybe, maybe we can survive. Let's, let's go and just overheat the crap out of this. Oh, he's going to be armor tanked. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, maybe we can kill one Drake back. Maybe it's possible. Maybe it's possible. I don't think so. He's got crazy amounts of buff. Have they got remote reps? Let's see now. Don't think they have. Oh yeah, they got remote reps as well. Like what the heck? This is what I don't like about a lot of PvP and Eve Online. Like I could have avoided this, you know, but I on purpose soon took it. But like, what is this? So you got Stealth Bomber, Loki, two Drekavax against a battered up Drake. Like, how much more one-sided can you get than this? But you know, that's the name of the game. I need some friends myself. You know, you can't always uh, do much when you're by yourself. So I got wrecked there, wrecked hard. But I, you know, I had a, I had a. Uh, the insurance so I got quite a bit of quite a bit of isk back for like what the heck was that two Triglavian battle cruisers Triglavian battle cruisers are so powerful compared to normal ships in general and then you got like a hound and a Loki hound's gonna do so much damage actually maybe I should have gone for the hound because I would have probably been able to kill him quite easily but that's it for our little DED low sec null sec uh, adventure probably I'm gonna do it more some other time but you can see now why I don't particularly like doing this stuff by myself it would have probably been a lot better if I was in like something say like a I can imagine a tech 3 cruiser because first of all it would be a lot easier for me to get past gates now I was very lucky that I didn't come across anything or any like uh, you know gate camps but forgetting that aside if I the you know the Tengu probably for example will tank the sites a lot better so I would have probably going to be able to get in and out of the DED site and just complete it very quickly the Drake obviously struggled with the tank so it was really not good maybe if I had a good tank I would have maybe been able to finish the site in time before the people got me but I don't know who knows it's still a fun experience I hope you guys enjoyed this little mini series right here if you did please leave a like and subscribe I'll catch you guys later.